Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last time, we played as Apollyon, and we eked out a victory against Mom's Heart, and we unlocked Magdalene in the process, so I figure we should probably do a Maggie run. Uh, let's get into it. Now, Maggie's an interesting character. She starts with 4 HP, and she starts with a Yum Heart, which basically every four rooms allows you to regenerate one heart. However, she has some pretty significant downsides. She is super slow. I am so getting hit on this room. We'll just use our Yum Heart right away. Um, and that is definitely a problem when it comes to successfully dodging and all that kind of stuff. Also, she doesn't have great damage. She starts with the same base damage as Isaac, but if I remember correctly, her like natural damage multiplier is relatively low. Um, so she is not a very offensively powerful character. And because she's so slow, it can really kind of... I, I should have probably shot the black poop, come to think of it. Um, she's one of the... She's, a, she's an interesting character. Um, I'm not a huge fan of her overall, but she's okay. Let's take this backstabber. Not exactly my favorite uh, item. Uh, I don't remember. I believe it's like you hit an enemy... Or, or I think it's when you take damage or something, it gives a small chance for them to have a bleed effect applied to them or, or something along those lines. Something that applies a bleed effect. I forget the details of it. It's not exceptionally powerful, though. Um, it's kind of a kind of a pretty meh sort of an item because the, the bleed effect, I, don't, I think bosses are immune to it, first of all. Uh, and then the bleed effect does like 10% of their overall HP. So even if bosses weren't immune to it, it still wouldn't do, uh, you know, it's still not that useful. It's not gonna, you know, take out an enemy guaranteed. It just kind of, you know, slowly hurts them a little bit. And I think it only applies that effect like when they take damage or, or something, or when I take damage from an enemy or, or something along those lines. Either way, uh, it is the item that we got. It is the item we're gonna roll with because we don't have any way to re-roll it, so... You know what? Let's just, uh, count our blessings and be glad that we didn't- we haven't taken any more damage on this floor. Let's get rid of this guy. Almost. Come on. There we go. And we got the belly button, which allows us to hold two trinkets, uh, which is actually pretty good. And we got little battery. I'm not exactly sure how little battery works. I, I was I would assume it has something to do with charging. Maybe it uh, increases the rate at which my items. Ch wow! I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. That was kind of surprising. Oh, uh, and I have uh, miracles. Miracles are uh, miracles are real. Miracles happen. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, okay, so envy. Small room envy fight. Kind of annoying. But what we want to do is make sure we don't break the fires, because he has a tendency to run into them and basically hurt and kill himself. So we're just going to kind of stay out of the way and let the fires do most of the heavy lifting for us. And there we go. And we got shoop de whoop which is a relatively good item, probably better than Yumheart. Yumheart is okay, but honestly, I prefer kind of offensively powerful weapons over... Uh, or items over items that uh, are, you know, sort of meh. The unicorn horn is also an interesting item. Basically makes me invisible and makes me kill things uh, once every six rooms. I think given the long charge, I'm going to stick with shoop de whoop I think shoop de whoop is going to be better for us overall. Uh, we do want to make sure that we have a charge for the boss. So, I'm not going to use it again on this floor. Uh, shoop de whoop I mean. There we go. And there's a tinted rock right there. And we got a spirit heart out of it. I'll take it. Okay, I totally could have gotten away with using shoop de whoop but whatever. I'm going to save it for the boss, because I want to make sure that I have it against the boss. It's basically like a... It's kind of like a one-time use brimstone sort of it's like not quite as good as brimstone but it does steal it does scale with your damage and i believe it does also uh gain the effects of your tears so if you get like poison tears or whatever uh it does synergize with a lot of cool stuff as well and and the fact that it's a two room charge is you know pretty good if we can get like a nine volt 
and make it an every room charge, that would be even better. Is this an XL floor? No, it's just a really long basement two floor. Okay, so there's our boss fight. And it is Monstro small room. Shoop doo whoop they're doing like 40% damage, give or take. Not too bad, not too bad. Get out of the way of that. Small room monstro is uh, more, far more annoying than large room monstro, uh, than having some space to kind of move around, but um, we'll make it work. And I didn't realize that this was the second floor. Uh, so we'll see if we get a deal with the devil. We did take damage earlier, unfortunately. Uh, and we did actually get a deal with the devil, so it worked out miraculously. Unfortunately, our deal with the devil is kind of garbage. Um, I'm not at all interested in either of those two items, so maybe we'll get some angel room stuff going here. Who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll get our, our deals with the angel on this one. I, eh, I was going to say, I kind of wish I had shoop doo whoop for this one, but these, uh, these enemies aren't that bad. Get out of the way. There we go. Okay. So we got a shoop doo whoop charge, which we are totally going to use and still manage to take damage anyway, because I am that good at the Binding of Isaac. It has been a long day of Isaac recording, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I don't mean like, I'm so tired of Isaac, I don't want to... No, I mean like, I've been... Uh, you, when I record these episodes, I usually record them in batches. Uh, you know, I'll sit down and I'll play Isaac for five or six hours or something like that. You know, and I'll, I'll record six episodes at once or, or whatever it comes out to. Um, and I think this is probably going to be my last one of the day. I recorded, uh, I believe, six Isaac episodes today, including this one. So it's been a, a long day and a good day. It's been fun. But our, our play has not been as great as I was, you know, I, I'm not too proud of the way that we have played overall. But we have accomplished a few things. We've gotten a couple mom kills. That was bad. And there goes our deal with the devil chance again. But you know what? We did get one on the last floor. Oh, man. Can I just stop taking... Maybe I should have stuck with Yum Heart to help me recuperate from my horrible play. Oh, and he had the backstab effect for a second there. Hmm. So I'm not exactly sure what triggers it, but it's got... There has to be some sort of a method. I just don't know what it is. Um, this is going to... Well... Oh, hi. Little, little blue fly. I didn't see that one. I probably could actually, you know what, I'm going to use Shoop Doo Whoop right here, because it's a big room, so it will fully recharge by the end of this room, because we'll get two charges. Yeah, there's the backstab effect too. I don't know what what the trigger is. Ooh, and double hearts. I will take that as well. That would be great if we get something useful in our item room, because we've, we've basically gotten two items from our item room so far, and neither one of them is exceptionally useful. Unicorn Horn, to be fair, Unicorn Horn is actually a pretty good item. The thing is, I think Shoop de Whoop is a little bit better. So, it's not that Unicorn Horn is bad. It's not that we got a bad item there. We just got an item that wasn't really useful for us in our current situation. So I think we'll stick, uh, I, I don't know. Hopefully we get something good here. There's a lot of potential different things we could get that would be good. Um, and I can think of a lot of things that I would be perfectly happy with getting from our item room, but, you know, with our luck, we'll probably go in and it'll be like, uh, I don't know, something useless. There we go. And Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby's actually a pretty good item. I will give it credit, uh, I'll give credit where credit is due. Rotten Baby, perfectly acceptable. So, we'll come in here. We'll take out these, uh, orange fires and see what cards we got. Maybe one of these is a Joker card. Ace of Clubs and a Double Active. I think the Judgment is probably better. Judgment. Let's, uh, hmm, maybe not. Let's stick with the Double Active. This will basically allow me to use my spacebar item twice in a room. And the reason I was fine with taking that damage was because we had two Red Hearts sitting right there. Rotten Baby though, perfectly acceptable pickup. Uh, basically just going to generate flies. Each one of those flies is going to do uh, basically double my damage. Double my base damage. So it's just a good passive damage source. Uh, definitely getting hit on that occasion. These guys are annoying. Almost finished with taking them out though. There we go. And we have like no... 
we have like no uh no money unfortunately i want to check and see though if there was something in there that would be worth like bombing our donation machine for or, or whatever you know what oh that was the worst shoop de whoop ever that was so bad terrible use i meant to hit up and i accidentally hit right on the arrow keys and as a result I, we we completely wasted our we squandered our shoop de whoop charge that's okay this should be relatively doable. Very easy. When there's only two of them. You can just kind of kite them around. There we go. And we got a penny for it. Um, I want to save Shoop to Whoop for the boss. I don't want to use it here if we can avoid it. Oh, and actually there's a tinted rock right there as well. Yeah, do your thing, rotten baby. You get him. And we got a spirit heart out of it. Okay, let's go and uh, let's take on our boss. Our boss is Pestilence, who is not super bad as long as we don't get hit by the creep and the Ipecac shots. Move out of the way. There we go. Oh, that one I thought was going to hit me, but it's not. I could really go for a speed upgrade as well, uh, but we're going to get Cube of Meat. Because we're fighting one of the four horsemen, so guaranteed we would get cube of meat. Bend to our item room, bend to our shop. Let's head on to the let's head on to the next floor. And how are we doing for time? We are at nine minutes, so we're actually on pace for boss rush. Um, I don't know that we're gonna make it, uh, especially with Maggie's speed. And boss rush, to be fair, is not really a priority for me at the moment uh, on this run, but. We're on. We're currently on pace to make boss rush. I'm not going to worry about it too much, though, and especially since our run right now, I don't think this run is capable of, uh, you know, doing well at boss rush at the moment. It, it is certainly possible that it could beat boss rush. I mean, technically, you could beat boss rush with your, without getting any items if you're a good enough player. I, however, am not. <laughs> so, gotta be a little bit cautious. Uh, Isaac's bedroom over there. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're doing one of those. Get rid of that big guy. And... That guy. And then finally finish this dude off. And he drops a couple more of the little blue guys. There we go. Okay. And this would be a room I would love to have Shoop to Whoop on. For sure. Leapers are really kind of an annoying, unpredictable enemy. I don't, uh, I will say, they're a lot easier than, uh, or I should say, I find them a lot easier. I struggle a lot less against them. That's probably the best way to say it. I struggle a lot less against them now than I did. I used to really, really have some issues with leapers, but uh, it has gotten a lot better. Did we get them both? Nope, we got one. <laughs> Still, not bad. There we go. And there's a battery charge that I'm going to save. Get rid of the orange fire so it can't accidentally blow me up. We got bonies over here. Which I am totally getting hit by. And we actually... You know what? I, I should probably be a little bit more careful. Because we have a good chance of a deal with the devil on this floor. And I'd like to preserve that if I can. That was a pretty good shoop de whoop Took out about half of the enemies. I'm assuming that's our shop. We got a couple bombs. So let's check our shop. BFFs. Hmm. Or BFF. With Rotten Baby? And with Cube of Meat? That's probably worth it. Plus we'll bomb that guy. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of damage our donation machine a little bit. We'll we'll uh, donate money back if we can later on in the run, but I want to get BFF because it's going to increase the damage of our familiars uh, and their size as well. So that makes cube of meat a little bit better as as an orbital because it'll it'll block more. So I think this is probably I think that's probably a worthwhile purchase. It's hard to say for certain, but uh, I think that was probably worth our time. Get out of the way. Get out. Ah, that was bad. Don't get hit again. Don't get hit again. We still have a good deal with the devil chance. We're not out of it yet. 
I would love to get some spirit hearts or something to help us protect that HP. Come on. We're good? We're good. Okay. What is this pill? This pill is... Bad gas. Yes. Okay. Not overly useful. So, we have explored pretty much the opposite direction, it looks like, of where we wanted to go to get to our boss. We did not find our item room yet. We have found our shop. Let's go up here. Okay, what we're going to try and do is get all these guys into a big line so we can shoot to whoop them. There we go. That actually worked really well. Nice. That went very well. Better than expected. And up here we have a bunch of... Uh, I got rid of the one that has creep. That's without a doubt the most annoying one. For me at least. Okay, there goes that guy. And... Okay, a couple spawners. Just try and break those if we can. Okay, not too bad. Not a not a super annoying selection of enemies, and this will recharge our shoop de whoop as well. So we're good there. Okay. Let's do one of those. Still looking for that item room, though. Ooh, golden bombs. That, I think, is worth it. Only for this floor. But that does give us infinite bombs for this floor. Which means... We can do some good stuff with it. Presumably, that was red heart damage. And rip deal with the devil chance. That's too bad. Come on. We're just trying to make use of bombs as best I can here. There we go. And now we get a spirit heart. Now that we don't need it anymore. And that is pause. Which is not as good as shoop de whoop to be blunt. So we've really kind of been let down on our item rooms on this run so far. This is like the fourth floor and the fourth item room where we really didn't get anything that was beneficial for us, unfortunately. So that's a little concerning. Um, what we should do, we've got golden bombs, we should make use of them. Uh, actually, let's go fight our boss first, and then we'll then we'll head back and do some things with our bombs. So, Stain. Hit him with a good shoop to whoop right off the bat, and now I just need to kind of stay away. He's going to pop up. He's annoying because he becomes invulnerable. Like, that's... Whoa, what? Oh, he he was on the red poop, and the red poop hurt him. So he is not invulnerable to that. That's good to know. Maybe we can get him to pop up on the red poop again? That would be great. Yep, there we go. He's dead. And you're dead. And you're dead, and we got Cracker Jack. Which gives me AAA battery. Which I believe will take one charge off of your active item, which means that I think we can use shoop to whoop every room now. I think. There's only one way to test it and find out. But if that's the case, that is super valuable. Because shoop to whoop is great. It really is. Like, it's a, it's a solid spacebar item. Amazing? No. But, uh... Certainly acceptable. Certainly the best item that we've picked up on this run so far. Except for maybe Rotten Baby. You could make an argument that Rotten Baby's a little bit better overall. But, at the same time, I'm all for... I'm all for shoop de whoop I am pro shoop de whoop for sure. So let's see. In here, we have Isaac's bedroom. So we're going to blow this up. We're going to use a couple bombs, because... We have infinite bombs on this level, so it would be foolish to skip this. Uh, we're going to blow up the Key Beggar. And I believe that is Safety Cap? Yeah, increases my chances of finding pills. I think I'm going to stick with the watch, the little watch battery. 
I don't know exactly how it works. Maybe it increases the chances of batteries dropping, come to think of it. I bet that's what Little Watch does, which would make sense. So, you know what? Let's stick with uh, AAA battery and safety cap. And then, I think basically everything else I have explored, we should definitely look for a secret room. Here could technically be there, although it's unlikely. And we'll sleep in the bed before we leave the floor. That's not the secret room either. Hmm. So the secret room's probably like way up. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to sleep. That'll recover us all the way to full HP. We'll blow this up. And we'll head down. A little bit easier. I I mean, not, um, not like the best decision as far as, you know, maximizing our chances of winning the run. But uh, I think perfectly acceptable. I mean, there's something to be said for not taking four minutes <laughs> to run back. Because the other thing with Maggie, too, is that as I've said earlier, you know, my speed is horrendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We recharge Shoop to Whoop. Uh, it looks like in one room. Oh, that's very good for us. That'll make this... Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we are in a good position from that standpoint, at least. Now, what else would be very useful for us? Something that... Come on. Get. Up. Die. Yep. Okay. There we go. Nun's Habit would be uh, pretty good. Get rid of you. Come on, rotten baby. Send your fly. Self-sacrifice room. Not super great. No idea what our map looks like, but we definitely want to find our secret room and our item room and or our, our shop and our item room on this floor. Um, hmm. Although the shop might not necessarily be that important considering... We don't have enough money to buy anything from it. Anyway, there's our boss fight. So... Let's find out if that is our secret room. It is not. Do we want to go and fight our boss right now? I kind of think we do, because we've got a 100% deal with the devil chance, so as long as I just... And of course it's brownie. Okay. Um, d double active? Why... why? It had to be this boss, by the way. This is the boss that I always, always get hit by. Every single fight. Like, I, I... I don't know what it is. Something about this boss, mostly because there's just so much stuff going on at once. You know, he, he, he does so many things. All at the same time. And, yep, there it is. If this was a different boss, we very well could have made it through that fight without getting hit, but... Ah, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. We will take the latch key. That will give us two keys and a spirit heart. And then we're going to head back and try and find our item room and shop. I'm a little disappointed by that. I really am. But I I don't think I've ever made it through a brownie fight without getting hit at least once. So, uh, oh well. Okay, so do that. Uh, I don't know what happened with the double active card as well, because I used it, but it didn't, like, allow me to use my spacebar item, so maybe I am wrong about... I, may, I Actually, I bet you have to use it before your item is depleted or something? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. Uh, let's see. You... That was not a good shoop de whoop at all. In fact, that was a really terrible shoop de whoop Okay, come on, kill, kill, you you can do it. Yep, run into my orbital. You too, there we go. And we got a friendly spider. Okay. Thank you, shoop de whoop And strength card's good, I'll take that, I'm all over it. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of a cough there. Yep, get rid of those. Ah, golden keys. So, infinite keys for this floor. 
if we can find something to use that on. We haven't, uh, we haven't been to our shop or our item room, so, I mean, that's two keys, but then the thing is, we got plenty of keys anyway, so I don't know that that's going to be that useful for us. There's a blood bank. We could potentially do something with that. Maybe. Okay, got a couple of them. Not all of them, but we got a couple. Come on, kill. And we're still rocking our base damage, by the way. I just want to point that out. We're still rocking our base damage on the Depths 1. Uh, after defeating the boss on the Depths 1. So, uh, yeah. Just just throwing that one out there. Need a little something, game. You gotta... You gotta work with me. You know, it, it's a... It's like a it's like a relationship, right? It's like a, a relationship with your significant other. It's give and take. You know, you gotta give a little and you gotta take a little. You gotta give a little get some. It's one of those things. You can't just leave me here on the depths one with with my base damage and my base tears for that matter. So like literally I'm doing the same damage now that I was doing on the very first floor. Minus shoop to whoop and a, a couple familiars, but still not, not helpful, you know? It's going to make things very difficult for us. Like, at least our HP is good. I will say that much. Our HP is in a pretty good spot overall. We're a little lacking on Spirit Hearts, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, we got to see if this is a Joker card. It's a Two of Hearts. Hmm. Okay, well, let's head off and try and find our item room, I guess. This is, this floor is taking forever. And part part of it is that, like, my speed is so bad that I'm just, like... It takes me five years to get anywhere, you know? Um, we gotta check our cursed room, too. You know, I was talking about giving a little... Th this game. This is not what I needed. I, I need more than spiders in my cursed room. You gotta give me something here. Something to work with. I mean, I, I BFF's rotten baby. And I can't get into this room because I, I took damage. Where is my item room? Like, seriously, I, I can't believe I haven't found my item room yet. Is it down here? I think this is the way to the boss. No? Item room, where are you? It's gotta be around somewhere. Been in there. It doesn't help that I've got Curse of the Lost, so I can't see anything that's going on. And if I'm identifying the curses incorrectly, then I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen for probably a while. Who almost landed on the spikes there. Yep. Okay. Careful. There we go. And our item room is right here. So, what did we get? We got Technology 2. Which is interesting. That was horrible damage. Technology 2 actually lowers my base damage, uh, but it does allow me to hit multiple enemies at once, and it does have essentially infinite range. So, this might be good? I don't really know. I don't know if this was a good pickup for us at the moment or not. It also means we deal damage faster, so I think it balances out as far as the... Uh, the loss of damage. I think it pretty much balances itself out. But at the same time... Wow, look how long it's taken me to kill this guy. That's ridiculous. And there goes our deal with the Devil Chance again on the first floor. You know, because that's, that's how things go. But the ability to have piercing is very, very helpful for us. The ability to hit multiple enemies at once and hit these enemies that are invulnerable from, you know, one side. Pretty good for us. Now, it still takes me a hundred years to kill them. But I guess it's better? Maybe? I don't know. I do love the technology items. They're very cool items. I mean, I'm shooting a laser ball, uh, a laser beam from my eyeball. So, you know, something. Guppy? Uh, spirit hearts. Okay, so this room was worthwhile. Um, not in that regard. I don't confidently think I can get that without getting hit. That was totally not worth it. 
I hate my life. <laughs> that was... Of all the odds, the, the, it had to bounce the bomb directly into me. I lose both the spirit hearts. Let's not forget that we have shoop doo -woo. Make sure we're using it. It's the only decent source of damage we have, like, at all right now. So we need to make sure we're not squandering it. There we go. Oh. I'm so incredibly just like... This, this run has positives. It's not without its positives. Don't get me wrong. There are some good things about this run. But 2.27 damage on the Depths 2. Come on. You got it. Uh, nothing. Oh, that was... Oh, this is... Oh, man. I always get stuck on that because I don't realize there's a hole there. I'm like, oh, I'll just dodge down and he'll have to chase... Nope, there's a hole. You can't dodge down. I do see a tinted rock, though. So, hopefully... Small rock. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think we've actually unlocked small rock. Come to think of it. But this will get us one rock closer. And it, we got two spirit hearts out of it. So at least that was acceptable. Uh, I'm going to save Shoop to Whoop for the hands. Okay, there's that one. Look at that. I can't even take out one of the hands while it's down on the ground. It takes two two hand strikes <laughs> for me to be able to kill it. That's so terrible. Uh, yes, this is worth two keys. Considering how many keys I've got, I think that is well worth it. This feels like a second secret room. That is a second secret room. And we get an eternal heart. Okay. That's, it's, 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 it's something. Let's break the spawners. And now we get to fight the ghosts for the next century and a half because our damage is so ridiculously terrible. Come on. Do hit them. Just keep the damage on them. Rotten baby, you gotta, you gotta contribute. You know what? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the orbital. I'm not even very good at using the orbital, but the orbital is actually an acceptable source of damage. It, it actually means that we can kill enemies without sitting here for a million years. So I'm probably going to take some extra damage because I have to use the orbital to deal it. But, you know, sometimes... Uh, oh, now you want to fire. That was weird. shoop de whoop was being weird. Like, I, I don't know if I just missed, pressed a button or something, but it was not doing what I was telling it to do. Yep, keep, keep the laser. Keep, keep... Oh. The fact that it takes me that long to kill those guys is scary. That, on the other hand, is something we absolutely want. That's going to recharge our active item as we kill enemies. Which means that it is very valuable for us, considering our active item is basically our only acceptable source of damage right now, not including our orbital, which I don't... Some people are very good at using their orbitals to deal damage. I just tend to get hit a lot more uh, in situations like that. But this will allow us to use shoop de -woo more often. Sometimes multiple times per room. Oh, a damage upgrade. I'd love to say all is forgiven, but it's not a very good damage upgrade. It's a minor damage upgrade. It is still, however, a damage upgrade. So that's the first space bar item, I would say, that we have picked up during, uh, from an item room. The first item from an item room that has actually been useful, like, this entire run. But hey, it's a start. Now, hopefully... Mom will give us damage upgrades. Let's... Oh, man. Look at look at the damage we do to Mom with our little laser. It's so bad. Our damage is horrendous. Wow. That is not good. Even with that damage upgrade. Like, can you imagine this fight without it? This would be... It would be even worse. But we do have the bloody recharge, so we can use shoop de -woo. We might end up killing Mom primarily with shoop de -woo. Just from the fact that uh, it does, like, I would say 75% of the damage we've actually dealt to Mom at this point has been from shoop de -woop. From that one shoop de -woop charge we had. So I'm going to kind of focus on taking out the little guys as we go here. 
prioritize them. Because we got that bloody recharge from the jumper cables. Which means... You know, every 15 enemies that die, I get an extra charge. And most bosses tend to summon, like, uh, minions, right? Oh, man. That was bad. Our base speed, not really helping there. That was a terrible use of shoop doop. I should have saved it and actually attacked Mom with it. I'm ashamed of myself right now. That was also bad. We may be... I hate to use bombs, though, because the, the enemies pop in and pop out of vulnerability so regularly that it's hardly... You know, I'm not... I, I can't make sure that my bombs are reliably going to hit Mom. So, as tempting as that is, I don't know that it would really help all that much. We almost got her, though. She's almost dead. We're not going to get a deal with the devil after this fight, almost certainly. Based on the fact that we've been hit, like, a billion times. Okay, there we go. Finally dead. We got a deal with the devil. Against all odds, we had an 11% chance... And it comes with Little Brim and Goat Head. I think you gotta take both. We only have one deal with the devil left. But we gotta. I mean, our damage is so poor that we need to make absolutely sure we get another deal with the devil on this floor that hopefully has like a, a significant damage upgrade of some sort in it. We have to make sure. Which means we also need to check our cursed room. Even though our health right now is very poor. That's not helpful. Ah, uh, I should have just run out the door. And we're down to half a heart because now we're on the womb and all damage is double. And this is Peep. And we're probably going to get killed here. Um. Shoop to whoop. Save me, shoop to whoop. Ah! Well, there's that one. I'm. <sighs> we didn't really get what we needed. We didn't play amazingly well, but at the same time, we were on the womb and we had received Stigmata as our only damage upgrade. So, you know, we tried. We did what we could. Probably shouldn't have entered that curse room, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.